Hello, my name is Diana Rich on Bogwa Editor Parents Magazine. Today we'll be having an informative conversation with Absa Bank, Kenya Business Banking Director Elizabeth Wasuna Ochoa. She'll be telling us more about how the bank supports MSMEs and women-owned businesses. Stay tuned. So my name is Elizabeth Wasuna. Um, I run with business banking as a business banking director for ABSA Kenya. Um, and really business banking is around um, you know, supporting the business environment in the Kenyan domain. And the key uh, deliverables for me is to be able to support growth and development of the commercial banking business, um, SME business, for which we are you know, uh, having a conversation around today. Um, but it goes beyond that as well. We handle agriculture. Um, I handle um, Lariba, which is our business, uh, Islamic banking proposition, but also support all these entities to be able to trade um, and to transact more efficiently. So it's quite a wide area and it, it covers across Kenya. But uh, to, uh, I think to your question today around SMEs, what does ABSA do for SMEs? First and foremost, you, you realize that we've actually formed an, a department or a segment that speaks to SMEs. So it's not bundled up in all others. It has a direct uh, team that supports SME. We have a leader in, in terms of um, supporting SME. And this is Susan Situma right now sitting as um, the head of SME. And then she has her ABLE team that is ABLE support her across the country. We have been able to uh, provide support across each and every branch in terms of SME so that has been a, you know a growing process for us as, as ABSA because I can assure you you know five ten years ago we didn't have that focus and direct uh, um, conversation with the SMEs but what we've done also differently other than providing that information at the branches and making sure that we have staff at the branches who can have that conversation we have then said what are the uh, what is the proposition we want to offer the SMEs. Um, and why did we opt to go that direction? It's because we, when we have conversations with them, they would tell us things like, you know, I don't have proper security. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my cash flows. And so when we crafted our proposition, which we, we then um, put out there in the market and, and ran with a very able campaign um, named Wazesha campaign, it was around providing SMEs with facilities that do not necessarily require um, security. So up to 10 million shillings for those customers that already banked with us, we would give them 10 million shillings unsecured. And for the new customers, we'd go up to 7 million unsecured. We then realized most of the SMEs are in the retail and wholesale business. So we had to be able to provide them with, you know, um, proposition that speaks to how do they bid and you know, a lot of the times, um, you know, banks would then ask for securities before you bid. But then here we were saying unsecured, again, up to 10 million shillings on a bid bond, um, a bid uh, bond. Then over and above that, once you had executed the bid bond and you're given work, so you have an invoice, we can, we can provide you the invoice discounting, LP or financing. These are all things that, you know, facilitate trade, um, you know, without security. The biggest thing that, you know, most SMEs didn't have. But over and above that, we then, in that conversation with SMEs, we did realize that even as we were pushing the agenda of products of the bank, the SMEs were still struggling with information, you know, education around how we speak the language, what is the, the language of the bank? And so we then opted to go and, and have a conversation around non-financial capabilities. And this has been very exciting because, you know, um, SMEs come up and tell us, look, we're struggling with cash flows. We don't understand how you people talk. You know, what are these terminologies that you're using? Can you break it down to our level? And we try as much as possible, even to the extent of speaking in the language that they understand where they are. So hence the reason why we then said, you know, as we are breaking this down, make sure that the branches, wherever they are. So if you want to have a conversation in Kapenguria, we're happy to have that conversation. If you want to have it somewhere in Mount Kenya, we're happy to facilitate. Don't have to come to the bank 
in Nairobi because that was what used to you know happen and really um, create an environment that SMEs can you know flourish and feel free to to gain information and to ask questions there's no question that is stupid I would, as I would say but you know give them an opportunity to learn so in our proposition we have financial information but we also have non-financial and that is ongoing throughout so I think that's what differentiates our, our proposition really mm -hmm. from a lot of the um, you know the, the, the opportunities out there yeah. Yes. Yeah.